I know that if you learn how to teach a procedure, then you learn it better. So when you're looking into dwelling into all the details and the nuisances of a, of a procedure and how you become a better clinician, the best way to to understand it and, and perform it to take advantage of what the procedure has to offer, what an instrument has to offer is by learning how to teach it. Because dentistry in general is one of the few percent professions that you know, need to know how to do it in order to teach it. Along those lines, I'm associated with, I've always been associated with educational institutions. So when we're looking at incorporating new techniques and new methodologies and new instruments uh, into our postgraduate curriculum, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, and carrying the weight of being program director and, and, and sharing knowledge with your peers and with your residents. We really need to know what the procedure is, all about the foundation behind it, the background behind it, the evidence behind it, um, and what better way than taking boot camps and evolutions again and again and again. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting about the program was that we went through uh, a presentation training. So how to relate information, how to engage your audience, how to gauge your audience, uh, and that's something that you don't you, you don't necessarily uh, learn while you're in, in dental school, right? So becoming a more effective educator uh, is is crucial, not only for um, you know boot camps or for teaching the procedure, but teaching uh, in general. Also, the hands-on instruction on how to hold someone's hand, how to relate information, how to pay attention uh, from a clinical standpoint that, also there, that was also very helpful. Making sure that up to date with uh, all the advances is important for a program. Well, everyone that's doing lasers needs to understand laser physics because it has to do with understanding how modifying one parameter can actually affect the overall outcome of your case. So understanding what is energy, what is a pulse duration, what is joules, what is hertz, and how all those are related will keep you safe and successful. I like teaching day one because I, I consider it a little bit of a challenge because you take something that is dry and could be considered boring because it's physics, things that not many people remember from high school, college, wherever they, they, they were taught, and you make it tangible and applicable and, and fun. I like that challenge. It's, it's one of the educator's tricks. Take something that's boring and try to turn it into something fun and understandable. My favorite part of being an ILD instructor is that I get to meet a lot of different people with different backgrounds, different experiences, um, different cultures, so talking about all the trainees that, that go through the program. At the same time, never gets old, interacting with patients and hearing all their experiences and success stories. Uh, and last but not least, I get to hang out with the team.